it's weird how I, I know that on one level there is kind of this whole sort of like cottage industry of like commentary about how the internet is changing us or whatever. And that's like, that's its own kind of like echelon of media. Some people can, you know, like the, the point being that some people consume that kind of media and some don't, right? You know, like depends on what information bubble you're in. But it's weird to me how little people talk about in a kind of like in a more like daily experiential way how little people talk about how different the world is and we are like like you know literally like the same group of friends that you've had for a couple decades like how much they've changed in the course of the internet taking over every goddamn thing you know i so i i really notice it like my my life has been like a semi-nomadic existence on the West Coast in countercultural spaces, right? And so even within that realm, the reality of, of literally just like going to some house to stay, you know, like staying in some house somewhere on the West Coast with a bunch of weirdos and anarchists in it is totally different today than it was, yeah, like 10, 15 years ago because of the prevalence of the internet right in, in all these different ways like on this on this like very basic material level of like people are just visibly more fragmented that like houses are quieter you know like big collective houses are less like they have less social activity or whatever because people are seriously just like shooting up the internet in their rooms all day and it really like it it feels i mean i've been around a lot of drug addiction in my life and I've had a lot of experiences of addiction and it feels exactly like that. The weird way that people kind of like silo and get like a little like, Oh, I have to go do something that I'm a little bit embarrassed about in private now for like six hours, you know, and that, and like that whole, that whole reality is like really, and it's just like, it's so different. And then of course, you know, I mean, everybody has some version of this, but you can see people's perceptions fragmenting like people's versions of reality really are growing more disparate it's a, it's a f fascinating process to observe i mean you can look you can see it at the whole, like scale of the whole society or i think for most people within their own social networks you can see it 